Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and I finally got my hands on one of these. This is the 2016 MacBook with Touch Bar from the mall. Actually, you can see there's still some Chipotle there on the bag. So these seem to be doing pretty well in sales and all since they're kind of sold out till January. So we have the 13 inch MacBook Pro right here. You can see 13.3 inch, 2.9 gigahertz, dual core Intel i5. We've got eight gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD. Intel Iris 550 graphics, you got those four USB-C ports. So here is the kind of funny and unfortunate thing. I had no intention of getting this computer until my little MacBook that I've really been pushing it on the specs. This is the 12 inch MacBook and I've been using this to edit all of my videos since like April. And it's actually been doing really, really well with Final Cut 10. It's been doing so well that I gave my MacBook Pro to my husband. But after the newest Final Cut update, it's taking a lot of time now to export and it's not as smooth as it was before during the editing process. So I figured, okay, all right, fine. I'll go back to a MacBook Pro. I knew it was just a certain amount of time until I couldn't get away with my workflow anymore, so I'm not that disappointed. This looks great, I can sell it for a pretty penny. So after that bit of rambling, let's go ahead and open the box. Now there's not gonna be a lot of things in here. We're not expecting any dongles. By the way, I have a new knife, what do you think of it? I think it's quite flashy. My other one was quite dull and a lot of you guys kept thinking I was gonna cut myself. I'm not that inept, you guys. So here we go. Could probably just peel off the rest of it. This is not very easy to remove one-handed. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah, you can see this is the space gray version. I know I'm really gonna like this. There's no way that I can go back to a plain old silver laptop after having that rose gold. Oops, okay. This seemed like a good idea, but now Toothless's face is getting in the way. So this is three pounds over the two pounds that I am used to on that little tiny MacBook. And I figured this would be an okay compromise. The reason I wanted to go to such a small computer is just because I'm a small person and I travel a lot and it's easier to have an editing computer on the go that is really small and not cumbersome. So three pounds is really not too much heavier. So what else is in the box? Well, we've got this cord here. This is USB type C on both sides. Because this is USB type C on all sides here, I should actually just be able to plug this into any of them and it should charge. So all we've got here is this cable. There is no extension cable. That is what used to come with the MacBook Pros. So it's just pamphlet documentation. And then you've got the brick. And that's it, that's all that's in the box. Luckily I already have at least one adapter because I have been using that little MacBook. I did not want the entry level one because I do have four ports. That's really important to me. It did get frustrating over time only having one port except for the headphone jack. This no longer lights up, but again, I've gotten used to this because this is very much in the form and fashion of the 12 inch MacBooks. Yeah, that's, that's a good weight and it's, it's beautiful. It really is. Let's go ahead and open this. Ooh. Hey, and look at that. It turns on as soon as you open the lid, it looks like. I hear that is a new feature that Apple is featuring. So what I really want to do is to do an impressions video. I will do that after playing around with this for a little bit of time. And then of course I want to get into doing a full review on this. This is going to be my editing computer from now on. Be quiet, Siri, you're interrupting my video. Huge trackpad. The 15 inch one is actually bigger than my hand. We've got these generation two butterfly keys and I'm actually used to these already because I was using that little MacBook. If anything, these are supposed to be a little bit more clicky. You guys, please ask all the questions that you could possibly have about this touch bar. Now, this is an OLED touch bar. My major concern is that this is going to burn in over time. I don't know how useful this is going to be for me just yet. So the hinge is really nice here. There is no type of creaking or noise that shouldn't be there. When I got my very first 12 inch MacBook from 2015, I had some creaking going on in the hinge, which caused me to return it for another one. Also, you can see that there is no plastic anymore. This is an all aluminum metal unibody, and it does look really stunning. I have to say, how pretty a computer looks does matter to me. 
I know that these do not have the new KB Lake processors. I know that we do not have the option for 32 gigabytes of RAM, although I was hearing that Schiller said that had to do with compromising battery life in so many ways. So I know this is pretty much the base mid-tier model. If I can, I would like to exchange this up for the custom model, but those don't come out until January and I needed this right now. So I will ultimately see how my workflow does on this entry-leveled mid-tier laptop. I really do love the new touchpad. It doesn't click, but it does have that haptic feeling. And to me, this has been the best trackpad ever. Apple also makes great speakers, great display. That all really matters to somebody who edits video. I really plan on getting an external GPU. That will add a more modular aspect, although it will be ultimately more expensive. I really am looking for portability and the best of all worlds. So portable, then I can expand it to being more powerful with an eGPU. When it comes to computers, money is not an object because this is how I do my work. Ah, I almost completely forgot that we have this new Touch ID feature. I should set that up. So apparently the power button is also right here. And this looks like it just goes about the same way that you would with an iPhone. So this touch bar here, it feels kind of like a textured-ish glass. And honestly, if they would have released the 13-inch MacBook without this touch bar, but with all the specs that it currently has, I would have picked that one instead. I don't know if I'm going to like how dynamic this is, and I'm really a stickler for burn-in. But it seems very quick and very responsive. It looks like it gets bright enough. I don't know if there's any controls or anything for brightness. I'm betting not. So function keys are no more, but you can press the function button. That pulls that up. I do know that you can customize this a little bit, and I will see what that ends up looking like. It looks like you can drag some things into the touch bar. So that's interesting. So Apple is not going for a touch interface. And honestly, I don't mind that they're not going for a touch screen. It, touch screens kind of drive me crazy because you get gummy fingerprints all over a very large surface area and it's hard to clean. But this, uh, I don't know. Please let me know what your opinions are. I will spend a lot of time playing around with this and I will get back to you in my first impression slash review or whatever it is I end up doing. So with this display now, we do have the option for a wider gamut. Display P3. So I will do some measurements. Also, I'm sure I'm going to apply my own calibration profile because I'm very much a stickler for the white point. And as far as I can tell, it's a bit coolish. and has a little bit of a green tint to it. So you guys, please ask lots of questions. This is going to be my new editing computer and just daily laptop. I want to spend a lot of time getting well acquainted with this. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I think that I'm going to be quite happy with this. When it comes to a laptop, I really want it to be pretty. It's the thing I have to stare at for 40 plus hours a week or more. Plus it has a really great display, top of the line speakers. I really like Mac OS, I just can't help that. And if I can get the eGPU situation actually working without having to go and use boot camp, that would be great. So ask me your questions, let me know what you think about Apple's new computer, and that touch bar for that matter, and have a good night.